Hey there, uh, I'm going to give you the final installment on the um, caged method and we've talked about uh, kind of the introduction to the caged method. We talked about the uh, five shapes. We've done um, the A shape, the, the G shape, the E shape, and the D shape in the key of C. Now uh, we're going to do the C shape. And uh, just as a review, the, the five shapes are C, A, G, E, and D. And in that order, they appear up the neck as you go and create uh, in harmonic C chords as you go up. So this is a C chord, and it looks like a C chord. This is a C chord, but it looks like an A chord. This is a C chord, and it looks like a G chord. This is a C chord, and it looks like an E chord. And this is a C chord, and it looks like a D chord. Uh, very important. I, I think you should be able to do this with every chord. So in other words, like here's B flat, looks like an A chord. Here's B flat, looks like a, a G chord. B flat, looks like an E chord. B flat, and B flat. There's your C shape, B flat. Our F. Like here's an F, it's E based. After E in the word caged would be D. And as we cycle around the word again, after D would be C. And there's the F chord that's a C shape. And here's the F chord that's an A shape. And here's the F chord that's a G shape. Okay. Um, and, and so this serves two, two purposes. One, to give you lots of chords for playing rhythm. And two, to give you lots of areas and um, shapes you can visualize as you're soloing and playing scales or licks over those. So you might have a um, like say over the C shape, this is a C shape F chord at the 5th fret. You might have a lick like that, uh, that really fits nice over the, over, the, over the C shape. And if you're playing over a B flat chord, then you know you can do it here. So that, that lick will be able to, to go with you wherever, you, wh whatever chord you're playing um, over because you know all your shapes up and down the neck. So that's why it's important. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the C shape that's up here at the 12th fret, and it's a C chord, C shape, um, and the frets are basically on the 5th string, it's the 15th fret, the 14th fret, the 12th fret, 13th fret, and 12th fret. Okay, so you can see that C shape right there, okay? Um, the first scale I would maybe show you would be the pentatonic major, which would be C, E, I'm sorry, C, D, E, G, A. Okay, and so if... On all six strings, that would be 12th fret, there's your E, and then 15th, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 13, 15, 12, 15. Okay, now we can add a E flat in there. Okay. Add that E flat in there, and it kind of gives it a kind of a hybrid sound. Whoops, I added an extra note. Okay, uh, I can show you the diatonic major scale, which would be C D E F G A B C. Okay, starting down here, it would be uh, 12, 13, 14. So that's E F G, and then we have A B C right here: 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14. 12, 13, 15, 12, 13, 15. Okay. Um, and then we, if we were to do the minor pentatonic, that would be, <clears throat> that would be something like, uh, uh, that would be C, E flat, F, G, A, uh, B flat, and C. And so, on the 13, 15, 13, 15, 13, 15, 12, 15, 12, or uh, 13, 16, uh, 13, 15. Okay, and if we wanted to make it a blues scale, then we would we would add the, the F sharp or G flat in there. And so, you, okay, so instead of 13, 15, you would have 13, 14, 15. And then here, you might have to reach up there to get it, or you come down be below to get it. Okay, um, so those are all some shapes there that you can use. Uh, I'm not sure you know the one, uh, C mixolydian, and that would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C. And so starting on the sixth string, it would be 12, 13, 14. There would be an E, F, G again. 
And then instead of A, B, C, which would be the major scale, it would be A, B flat, C, which would be mixolydian. B flat, C, and then D. So that's uh, 12, 13, 14, uh, 12, 13, 15. And then 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15, 13, 15, and then 12, 13, 15. Okay, so that gives you your, your mixolydian, you got your major and minor pentatonics, your major scale, uh, your minor blues, and uh, your mixolydian, that should be enough to kind of get you going. Um, and uh, again, if you create a lick, you start seeing some shapes or some things in there, you know, know that that can move and try to find that, you know, Try to find that on different shapes, like that's on. The, I just played that on the E shape. Okay. Well, I hope this helps, and um, we'll talk soon. God bless you guys. Bye bye.